One thing I know, success is all about momentum. In court, where you can win, you gotta believe you can win. But what if you don't? Huh. Then you better fake it till you make it. Hello, Rachel. How are you? I'm doing great. Listen, if someone had told you your next role is going to be following the footsteps of Matthew McConaughey, one of his most iconic performances, would you be like, yes, Magic Mike, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I see a lot of lawbreakers up in this house. Yes. Oh, it's like a lawyer, less nudity. That's good, too. <laughs> <laughs> No, yes, definitely. Of course, I was uh, very excited. Uh, it, it's an amazing character uh, to be part of this, of the world of Michael Connelly, you know, from the books. It's just it's such an honor. Yes, definitely, yeah. No, it's got to be exciting because when you have, like, these books that are so beloved, you already, and a movie that was 10 years ago that was such a hit, yeah. you have a built-in fan base. You already know there's going to be some people showing up and excited to do it, but you're also doing something a little bit different. So is that exciting and kind of challenging at the same time yeah of course there's that part of you that you're like okay I, you don't want to disappoint the fans of the books you know you know you just we have we did our take on it you know yeah so uh, we, i'm just excited to see what what people think of it i think it's great oh, look at you I, the smile says everything i mean <laughs> this is a great series it's got a great story and it's not a reboot of the movie it's kind of like the next chapter the next book in the series yeah. the lincoln lawyer that what they call you some do yes why? They worked out of my car. But one thing I think people will really appreciate, fans included, is that this is the first time the character is being portrayed in the way that the author and the books imagined. And there's representation this time around, you know, not to discredit the other performances, but that adds another layer, don't you think? Yes, definitely. Um, yeah, I was really thankful and re very excited about that, you know, to be Mexican actor to being a lead on a show and, and playing a lawyer and you know when they told me I was gonna do it I'm like what are you serious I'm gonna be Mickey Holler oh wow so it was really it was really exciting and really thankful you know um, you know with the producers with Netflix take a chance on that and, and explore that side of, of Mickey Holler which you know like you said in the books is half Mexican half American so yeah very very thankful where are you going I think better on the road. This city you need a little. Don't ask questions you don't want answers to. You need this just as much as I do. This is your one shot. Since LA is so close to Las Vegas, if Mickey Hall are gonna, you know, get in his Lincoln and drive to Vegas for a weekend, how do you think that Vegas weekend would look? <laughs> Oh man, I think, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's an addict, so I don't think that that would be good. <laughs> when you have a weekend, what do you like to do when you come to Vegas? When I, you know, I've only been been once. A friend of mine got married there, and I've only been once, and I had so much fun, I remember. But uh, it was one of those things that, you know, it's like, wow, it's, it's, it's overwhelming, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I loved it. Yeah, 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 I gotta go watch a, a boxing match. You're fighting a good fight with this new Netflix series, and it's a real big. It's gonna be a huge hit, and just lovely speaking with you, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you.